I had recently come to the massive city of Medellin in Colombia. It's located in a huge valley and has 4 million people. My mission for the day was to head up into the mountains to an old neighborhood. It was once considered to be a really bad neighborhood, but I wanted to go there to see for myself. There were some rain clouds hovering above the city, but I was determined to take the cable tram and head up to the mountains. Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm here in a hotel room in the city of Medellin in Colombia. <laughs> Almost 4 million people here and the city is located um, 1500 meters above sea level or 5000 feet. Today I'm actually gonna go to um, a suburb called uh, the 13th of November. <laughs> 13 de noviembre. Um, and I'm gonna take the tram over there first and then a cable tram that goes in the air. So I'm gonna be heading out now, but I'm gonna leave this big camera here and bring only my GoPro because I don't wanna risk getting robbed. Um, I'm not sure how the situation is, but I was reading a bit on the internet that uh, Sometimes it can not be all that safe here. So I'm gonna head out now and uh, get going. First I got up on the rooftop of the hotel to have some breakfast. It was included in the hotel price and I had only paid $18 per night. There's a little rooftop here on top of the hotel and I just had breakfast up there. Uh, and also a really nice view of the whole town. But uh, it's time to head out now, my friends. Okay, I'm on my way now to the tram station called San Antonio and uh, I'm gonna take a, a tram, I think it's called, over to the next station where you have the, the cable tram. <laughs> and uh, hola! So this neighborhood that I'm going to is called Trece de Noviembre, Noviembre, I think. Uh, that means that 13th of November, uh, it was named af after a tragic event that took place here in Medellin in 1985. On the 13th of uh, November, there was an earthquake that killed more than 20,000 people. So they named this suburb after that event for some reason. I was also reading online that this suburb um, used to be controlled by the cartel a while back and uh, it was considered a really bad neighborhood but uh, in the recent years I think it's uh, considered to be uh, not so bad of a neighborhood so I'm about to find out and see what we can do there uh, I think the tram station is coming up over here Let's see if we can get on it I actually am not quite sure where to get in to the station it's like blocked off here it is entrada no so i'm gonna try to get the ticket here there's a big line hola uh, mira flores cuánto uh, cuesta tarjeta Okay, I got my card now. I paid 17,000 um, Costa Rican pesos. I'm heading up to the mountains. Uh, that's why they have a cable tram up there because there are no roads that go up the mountain. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how this goes. quite full inside but also really modern. The ride would be about 15 minutes into the station of San Antonio where I would change and get on the cable tram. It started raining really bad, but I am prepared. I have my rain jacket in the bag, so 
wall is reading him off. Ho -ho! I was outside for like three seconds, I'm already super wet. My jacket is soaked. But I'm determined to get on this um, cable tram. So uh, I'm gonna get on it now. So I told the guy that the um, car didn't work, but I happened to uh, use the car to the hotel room. <laughs> And then he looked at it, he said it's the wrong car. Right as I came in, the whole cable tram stopped moving. Probably because of the rain and thunderstorm. The line got longer and longer. And the cable tram had been stopped for more than 30 minutes at this point. Another 30 minutes later. So I waited for one hour here, but now the lifts are finally moving again, so we're gonna get in one now. Here is the one that I'm getting into. The rain was quite bad still, but the ride up there only took about 15 minutes. I had arrived in 13 de Noviembre, or 13th of November, a suburb that was named after a tragedy taking place further down south in Colombia, where a volcano erupted and killed 20,000 people in the year 1985. I'd never seen anything like this before, it looked like all the houses were piled up on top of each other, unevenly. Now I was about to get out and get lost in between all the buildings. I have arrived in 13 de Noviembre. <laughs> Not such a great success with the weather here. It's raining quite a bit, but uh, it's a pretty cool view. It was nice in the cable tram. <laughs> Except it would be even cooler if there was no uh, uh, clouds because you can see like it's a huge city huge huge city look the amazing views here when I came in on the bus the other day it was really incredible the bus was just like the whole landscape just opened up really cool Here we have a little restaurant with some kind of chicken. I might eat some chicken. There's a bus also here that says Centro. I didn't see any roads almost going down to the downtown area. The bus probably takes forever <laughs> to get down to this center. <laughs> That's why they built all these um, cable trams um, to connect the suburbs of Medellin a bit more to the downtown area so people could get down there way easier to work so steep here the hill <laughs> so steep hola seems like there's not much of a garbage system here look at all the trash 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 everywhere look trece the Noviembre seems quite safe actually seeing some people here really laid back relaxed vibe it's so steep agua hola huh uh-huh see I don't know if the guy said that I should not keep going because it's dangerous further up 
but I was about to find out. I can feel it in my lungs a bit. The elevation is so high, it's, it feels a bit hard to breathe. It's not like a normal feeling. I'm gonna go in on one of the small roads here. <laughs> See where this takes me. Oh, 13 de noviembre. So many small roads just going in every single direction. I bet it's impossible to receive letters or mail here. How would the mailman know where to <laughs> deliver the packages? Totally impossible. I think I saw this exact basketball court on Google actually. When I researched this place, there's a basketball court here and some kind of outdoor gym. A little playground. It seems actually pretty safe here. Oh, I just stepped in the water. My <laughs> Somebody's yelling over here. There's another guy coming here. There's some banana trees also, look, banana plants. Seems a little bit sketchy here after all. And I think I got lost. I walked on some small street and then... Oh, I came out somewhere else. so green here, it must be raining so much, it's in the middle of the rainy season. Here we have two dogs. Some guy just came to dump the trash here. This seems to be the place to dump trash in the neighborhood here. You know it's bad when I can smell it. I can smell the trash. My sense of smell is really 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 bad. I almost cannot smell anything. Sometimes certain smells I can smell. But if I can smell it that means that it's really strong. <laughs> oh, garbage. Even the dog is here looking for something to eat. Look. Oh, oh the dog. I have to run away from the dogs. Hopefully they don't want to eat my calf. <laughs> Take a little bite of my calf. Maybe we can go up here. Look, it's quite interesting to see <laughs> things like this. Look, I'm gonna go up here now. Hola. Hello. So I've noticed um, they have some small stores here where they sell things and they have like fences uh, that block off the whole entrance to the store and then there's a padlock to prevent people from getting in. So if you want to buy something you have to just stand outside. I don't know if it's because people rob the stores otherwise or why else would they not just have a door so you can walk in? I've seen it like a lot of the small little shops here. Here you can see it's a little store and then you can only you can only buy things right there. I think I'm ready to head out. It was pretty fun to walk here but uh, it's raining, I'm wet. Here we have some rice that the dogs have been feeding on. They had themselves a little feast here. Yeah, I'm gonna head out of here. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. 
Hello, doggy. Hola. <laughs> um, comida. Comida. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Look at this view here of the downtown area of Medellin. Buena suerte. Eh, ¿Qué es esto? Arroz. Arroz especial. Arroz especial. La famosa chicha, pollo, maicitos. Ah, okay. eh, arroz especial. Para llevar o comer acá. Eh, aquí. Acá. Con pollo. Con pollo, sí. ¿Qué pollo? Special rice here, special rice and uh, chicken. But also some kind of bread. And the fried chicken. So I paid the 8,000 uh, pesos only for the meal and the uh, soda. It's so cheap, it's like, let me think how much that is. The meal was really good actually, <laughs> really cheap. <laughs> I had walked around for a while, but decided to head a bit further out on some small road to perhaps see what was around the corner. So I'm on some <clears throat> kind of side road again. I'm gonna see if I can start my drone here somewhere. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Sometimes when there are a lot of mountains and trees, uh, <clears throat> you can't start the drone because you need uh, a GPS signal. You need about eight <clears throat> or 10 GPS signals from uh, different directions. If you have less than like six or seven, then the drone can just start flying by itself and crash. It was probably not a good idea to walk alone in such a remote part of town. There were 600 homicides last year in Medellin, so almost two per day, and on average 60 people get robbed every day. Medellin used to be one of the most dangerous cities in the world, but in the recent years things have actually been getting better. All right, I think I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna go back, as I said a couple of times now, to the um, cable tram. The lady up there was trying to say that I couldn't go by myself for some reason because I got into one first and I kind of wanted to go by myself. So I got out and then I waited for the next one and she said, no, you can't go by yourself. You have to go two people. But then I waited for uh, a few more and I saw that there was nobody coming. So I got in right before the doors closed. So now I'm in here by myself. But it was quite interesting to walk around in the um, 13 de septiembre. <laughs> septiembre. <laughs> so we're coming to the first stop here. Uh, it has two stops. The first stop and then the second stop. And then we have to take another tram all the way into the downtown area over there. Far, far away. We stopped, nobody came in. And uh, I was thinking that I might have to move here uh, in a few days maybe, so we can have a swimming pool. So we can swim a bit in a swimming pool. There's no swimming pool at the place where I'm staying now, so I kind of want to move. <sighs> to <laughs> we can swim in the swimming pool. Oh. Far down there, going all the way up. You have to be prepared to get out before it goes around the corner. Let's get out! Home. Hola. Hello. Now we're going back to San Antonio. San Antonio, not in Texas, but in Medellin. Back in San Antonio, 
I think it's pretty uh, easy actually to find your way around in big cities if you always use your maps and save the locations that you go to so you always know where you are and then you can always follow along on the map when you're going back there I have to buy some water somewhere I'm getting really really thirsty Tienes agua? Un agua Hello everybody, I came back from my little trip <laughs> and I think this is gonna be the end of the video. I'm so tired after my oh, hiking and everything. <laughs> but in the next video, I think I'm gonna go, maybe in the next video, I'm gonna go and see um, Pablo Escobar's house. Pablo Escobar, he was uh, a big drug lord. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, and see his house. So don't forget to subscribe if you want to see Pablo Escobar's house and also more of Colombia. So thank you very much for watching the video and uh, as always please leave it a thumbs up and post a comment if you want to say something. And I also want to reach 100,000 subscribers, that's my goal, it's been my goal the whole time. So if you want to help out all you have to do is click the red subscribe button below this video. See you next time.